Michelle here, my crazy workout. AJ, one of this one of my subscribers, asked how to make where I got my boxes, and actually they're homemade. These are six-inch snatch boxes, and my wonderful husband made them for me. He gave me a whole bunch of notes, and he's recording for me, so I am going to explain this. So, if you want to make two six-inch snatch boxes, you need to start with a two by 12 board that's at least nine feet long. So each finished step is 18 inches long and it's 11 and a quarter inches wide and it's four and three quarters thick. So it weighs about 18 pounds. Uh, it's going to be an inch and a half thick and 11 and a quarter inches wide. Once you cut the 18 inch lengths, so there's gonna be six of them. So there's three for the one box and three for the other. So these are gonna be cut into 18 inch long pieces. You're going to put some carpenter glue or some liquid nail between the, you're gonna work with two pieces of wood at a time. So you're gonna put liquid nail or carpenter glue in the center between the boxes, between the two pieces of wood, and along, not the outside edge, but along the leave, leave a space here because when you push the boxes together, the liquid nail is going to expand, all right? Then you're going to take carpenter screws, and remember, you're working with two at a time and there will be pictures. You're going to use the carpenter, it's a deck screw because they don't, the holes don't have to be pre-drilled for the deck screws. So you can use an electric screwdriver and you're gonna drill it in and sink it into the box. So you'll see them at, there will be a picture where they'll be sunk in. So you'll sink them in and that, and you'll have to do it on all four sides, all right? Then from this side, you're gonna have to sink the four decking screws into the wood. Now, you're gonna wanna stagger them like this because you don't want them to be touching each other. So you're gonna wanna stagger your decking screws, all right? Once you're finished with all three boxes and the glue is dried and you have the nail sunk, you're gonna, he has a picture on there, he has a sander, he sanded the edges so that they're smooth, so that you won't get splinters. You can do it by hand with sandpaper, or if you have a, a, a sander, you can sand it, uh, but it just makes it easier if, uh, and nicer, it won't splinter on you if you sand the edges. Once you finish and everything is tightened and stuck together, you're going to take slip resistant tape and you're gonna cut it the length of the box, three strips. You'll peel the back off and you'll attach them down the box. They're non-skid slip tape so that you, when you sweat, the, your feet won't slip on the boxes. And then the last thing that my husband added was he picked up two handles at the hardwood store and he drilled them into the, the center, the, the middle uh, piece of wood on the box. And it just makes it easier to carry and lift. And like I said, they're 18 pounds. So um, they're not light because they are solid all the way through. So I will have, I will type this information in below the video and break it down step by step so you understand how to do it, all right? If you have any questions, I'm gonna direct them to my husband, <laughs> but feel free to put in the comment section if there's any questions, let me know. Uh, but these are super cheap. Would you say that piece of wood cost, Brian? 10 bucks. $10, you'll pay $10 for the piece of wood. You'll have to buy the screws and the handles and the tape and the glue 
and it'll probably cost you a grand total under $30 and you'll have two six inch snatch boxes that will last you forever. All right, have a good day and I'll see you soon.